So Jason was the first sailor ever to pass the Straits into the new world of the Black Sea. So once the Argo whooshed through between the clashing rocks, they stayed open forever. That's them, according to the story. The landmark at the end of the Bosphorus. And ahead of them, for the first time, for any Greek, according to the legend, there was open sea, a bare horizon. Glory, your fire inflames men's souls, says a Roman poem on Jason. You are the siren song that drives men to risk their all. But are they heroes or mere dreamers? The Golden Fleece is a present first of all, of God to the Greeks. It is a way of traveling to this new world, which is rich in metals and in the knowledge of working the metals. So you think they actually got, the, got into the Black Sea even in the, the late Bronze Age, even in the Age of Heroes? Of course. That the root story comes from this? Of course. Is there a real journey behind it at some point? Hundreds of journeys, hundreds of journeys during the, the late prehistoric, the late Bronze Age, trying to, to get through the Bosphorus into the Black Sea because this was the richest part of the world. So it's a kind of El Dorado for, for these course, early peoples. Yeah. And all these sagas and all these tales and all these poems and all these tragedies and all this money, <laughs> richness, wealth. Yeah. They are wealthy people, yeah. wealthy people. Yeah. Uh, I think that finally became one story. Okay. Jason. Yeah. Jason's journey along the Black Sea coast is a mix of real geography and fantasy. The Argonauts pass Amazons and fight off arrow-shooting birds. But on the way, you can still find traces of what seems like a real voyage. At one point, Jason lands in what sounds like an ancient industrial estate. The land of the Iron People. This is uh, where experimental archaeology comes in. OK. I brought with me a magnet. <laughs> Isn't that great? There you are. Um, they did work iron here. In fact, the, uh, the old metal workings are everywhere in the back of these hills. It's led many people to think that maybe this part of the story doesn't come from the Bronze Age, of course, but from the Iron Age. It just goes to show you how many layers go into a legend. That night, we camped at a place the Turks still call Cape Jason, just as the ancients did. And here, the locals have a great twist to the story. This, they say, is as far as Jason got, because the Argo sank here, and Jason and his brothers settled down and married local girls. <laughs> There were three ancient Greek brothers who were called Yasson, which is Jason, um, Gerson, and Samson. And Yasson stayed here, 
Gerson, am, am I right? Yes. Samson, back at the city of Samson down there. So it's the local legend is a kind of tale of colonization. Isn't that interesting? Really amazing. Civilizations rise and fall, religions change, but not the human imagination, which hands on the gifts of the past, almost like a genetic code. In the abandoned Greek monastery of Sumela, there's a sacred cave. Cole, come and look at this. Isn't that sensational? Here you can see the Christian world, which overpainted Jason's pagan universe. But they still share the same myths, the divine woman, the supernatural powers, and the heroes. You can see Jonah and the whale looking very like Jason being delivered from the dragon, isn't he? <laughs> the hero's task is still to enter the realm of death. The saints, the heroes. <laughs> and by his courage and steadfastness gain everlasting fame. It makes you realize that all the great myths of humanity, the story of Jason and the Golden Fleece included, are really about the conflict between good and evil and facing up to death. Just before the Georgian border, I stumbled on a bull festival straight out of Jason's world. You think of all those Greek myths like uh, Zeus, the king of the gods, takes the form of a bull to seduce Europa. It's a bull that comes out of the sea to father the Minotaur, the bull-headed monster that inhabits the labyrinth. There's something about our dreams here. Just look at this. Jason doesn't know it yet, but that's one of the tests that lies ahead. And so we entered Georgia, ancient Colchis the land of the Golden Fleece. Georgia has a wonderfully rich history. For centuries, it's been a bridge between East and West. And that bridge was first created by the ancient Greeks, who began to found colonies here after 600 BC, as they saw it following in the footsteps of the Argonauts. And the Greeks are still here. This is Michael's mom. Oh. And the children are preparing pictures oh for us. Oh, my God. You're not going to believe this. Look at this. Look at this. Do they know any of the people here or these? Of course, I know all of them. No. It is my father. The faces of the people. The liar player could almost be Orpheus. There's Atalante, the runner. And there's young Jason himself, big boned, open face. After sweeping along the coast of Colchis, 
the Argo entered the mouth of the river Phasis. In early Greek myth, this was the edge of the world. See the surf line there, which is the waves meeting the river as it pours out. We're going to try and get through that. Today, the Phasis is called the Rioni. We've struck, uh, struck land already. He's just walking across the estuary now just to see whether there's anywhere where the water's deep enough for us to get in. Ancient heroes may have sailed into the Phasis, and, but uh, of course, People don't do that today. <laughs> Port's the other side. No problem. Fantastic. Can, will you, can you remember the way out? <laughs> yeah. Now, strange as it may seem, the Argonauts had got all the way to Colchis without stopping to think how they would get hold of the fleece. So they held a council of war. Some of the heroes favored using force, but Jason suggested a more subtle tack. My friends, he said, you stay here on board while I go and parley with their king. I'll sound him out, see if he's arrogant and confident in his power, or if he's friendly. Maybe we can strike a bargain. In exchange for the fleece, the heroes of Greece could offer to vanquish his enemies. 